this whole my presentation for Hispanic scientists is the one I chose was Luis Walter Alvarez. He was born in June 13, 1911. He was born in San Francisco, California, here in the United States, and he was the second oldest son. And his parents were born in Spain, Asturias, I think that's the state. He assisted the University of Chicago, where he got all his degrees, even his PhD. And after that, he went on to work uh, at a radiation laboratory with Lorentz Experimental Team. He died in September, uh, September 1, 1988. And his research papers are all in the Bancroft Library at the University of California. Mayer's scientific contributions, those were some of his um, contributions. He made hydrogen mobile cham chamber. The cyclotron is kind of like an atom smasher. The microwave-based area antenna and detecting nuclear weapons project, which helped in World War II, I believe. And how has his contributions impacted society? Um, Louis Walter Alvarez was awarded the Nobel Prize for, for his contribution towards the the elementary particle, which helped his technique with the hydrogen chamber and that analysis. This is this wasn't his only contribution. He also made the air rate antenna, which tremendously helped with air safety improvement by ground control. The antenna, the antenna would precisely determine the position of the aircraft, which helped the ground crew give the right instructions to the pilot when near air runway. Both facts. In 1980, Alvarez helped his son, that was a geolog geologist, Walter Alvarez, to make his discovery, discovery known of the layer of clay that was high iridium, which showed some type of asteroid or comet fell on Earth, which caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. Or so that was his theory. His own theory. He had only one son, which was Walter Alvarez, the geologist. And a quote from him is, there is no democracy in physics. We can't say a second-rate guy has as much right to opinion as Fermi. Yeah. Sorry. 